Hey guys, nice to see you again. Today I'm going to show you something useful and that is the Panda Power Toolbox. So the Panda Power Toolbox is something like the Swiss knife of Panda Power. You can use it for different things, for example, to merge two grids or to check if results are equal. And this is what the toolbox is for. So let's get started. So to use the toolbox, we have to import the toolbox and this is done by importing the toolbox as TB. Then we import the Panda Power networks. So we have some example networks and we also import Panda Power so that we can run a power flow, for example. Okay, so first we're gonna get a grid. In this case, let's get the secret grid here, the medium voltage grid, and then we can print it. So you know, this grid should be familiar to you by now. So it has 15 buses, 18 loads and so on. And if you run a power flow calculation, then you get the power flow results as always. So you could print, for example, the results for the bus. And then if you want to know which has the highest voltage, you can search here or you can run restbus.max uh, um, uh, max, and then you get the maximum voltage of these buses here. Um, and here comes the first toolbox function, which is called tblf info. So the info function here gives you an overview about here the highest voltage, the lowest voltage in the grid. So here we have the 1.03 uh, and the maximum loading of transformers, lines and so on. So this is quite handy if you want to get a first information about your grid. Okay, then there is a second function uh, in the toolbox, which is called net equal or nets equal which can be used to check if two nets are equal if you load the same grid as here and run the function nothing happens because those grids should be equal if we change for example something let's say we drop the first load in this grid and then run nets equal you will see that it will tell you networks do not match the data frame load differs if you do uh, if you run a power flow calculation and only want to check if the results are the same you can use here check only results and then it will give you the information that the results in those tables are different now so you have um, a difference in the grid because you dropped the first load here Okay, mm, so this is the nets equal function. Then there is another one which is called merge grids, which can be used to merge two grids. Here, for example, you can use it like this and merge the two grids here uh, into a third grid. And if you print that, you're gonna see that it contains twice as much elements as the first grid. Uh, in this case, it has 30 buses, for example. And if you print those buses, you're going to see that it has the same names, but different indices. So the indices start at zero as well and go up to 30 or 29 in that case, um, but have the same name. So this is exactly the same bus as this one. And if you check the external grid, for example, you will see that there are two in this grid. So two slack buses here. They're completely independent. They're just inside the same data frame. So if you run a power flow calculation, you have practically two disconnected components in the grid. So, okay, this is what merges for. Um, then if you have a grid which has not, uh, let's say we, we have seen here that um, indices start by zero, you can also use a um, um, a toolbox function which is called create continuous element index uh, or bus index create continuous bus index here uh, which can be used to um, change the start of the bus indices for example in this grid so if we print now uh, net.bus you're gonna see that the buses don't start at zero, but they start now at 10 because you started here at 10. If you messed up something, you can also use this function to re-index your buses again by starting at zero. And there was, I just showed that there's another function element, um, continuous element index, which can be used to re-index any table, not just the bus table. 
Okay, then there is another function which is called drop buses, which is quite nice because it doesn't just drop, you just specify which, which uh, buses you want to drop and it doesn't just uh, drop the buses uh, inside the grid, but also the elements at those buses. So if you, if you drop, for example, bus number five here, it will also drop a line which is connected to this bus and the load which is connected to this bus. So you don't have any zombies in, inside other data frames if you drop a bus, for example. Okay, and there's one last fun function I want to show you, which is called get connected elements. So you give it a grid here and then you specify which element you want to know um, is connected to um, a, a amount of buses and let's say we want to know which which lines are connected to bus number five here. We, we, we call it like this. And then we can check here uh, what, what it gives us. And we can print it first maybe. And then you're gonna see it will output in this case three and four. So those are the lines which bus number five is connected to. And if we print the lines now, we will see that um, bus number five here is the two bus for line three and bus number uh, um, bus number five is the from bus for line four. Well, this is the toolbox. You can also open it and check out the code. You will find some more functions, but those are the most useful in my opinion. So those were the toolbox functions. As I've said, just check out the code. Sometimes there might be some updates in the future. And now have some fun trying it out.